Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to solve the 6S challenge. So we need to put all math time that we know to create a final row, a correct row. So we will have 777 seven, seven, and we need to create 6. How can we get this 6? Of course take a look at how can we get this. If we write this 7 as 7 minus 7 over 7. If we divide this by 7 we will have right here 1. So 7 minus 1 equal to equal to 6. So I hope you understand this step. So this is our first answer to these interesting S challenges. So right here we have a lot of 8s. So right now of course you can pause the video and write your, your answer in a comment, write your suggestion in a comment and right now we are going to solve it. And of course it will be more interesting for you to, to check our answer in the end. Right here we have a lot of 8s. How can we do with this? Take a look. It, it is a, li a little bit harder than this one because right here it is hard to create 6 in an obvious way. We need to write this one. We need to write square root 8 plus 8 over 8. And if we take this square root, we will have 8 plus 1. We will have 9. Square root of 9 equal to 3. And moreover, if we take factorial, we will have 3 factorial, which is equal to 6. Because we know that 3 factorial equal to 6. I write this right here. 3, 3 factorial equal to equal to 6 because this is 1 times 2 and times 3. So I hope you understand this this step. Right here we have 9s. How can we create 9s with this 6? Let's use a really good logic. 9 is really good because we can take square root so square root of 9 equal to equal to 3 and of course if we multiply this by square root of 9 we will have 9 and moreover if we subtract square root of 9 we will have we'll have 6, because right now we have square root of 9 times square root of 9, it will be 9, and 9 minus 3 will be 6. And the last step, we have a lot of 10s. How can we create 6 from this? Take a look, if we write square root, and under this square root sign we'll have 10 minus 10 over 10. If we subtract it, we'll have 10 minus 1, which is equal to 9. And 9, square root of 9, will be 3, and we need to take put factorial right here. So right here we'll have 3 factorial which is equal to which is equal to 6. So right here we'll have 3 factorial 3 factorial which is equal to which is equal to 6 and I, I hope you understand this step. If you still have any question write a question in the comment. I try to answer for everyone and of course thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos.